Hi friends, I'm Janine Pettit, founder of Girl Camper and friend of Outdoorsy. I am walking you through the process of hitching up your trailer today. The first thing I want everybody to know when it comes to hitching up your trailer is to always work off a checklist. It's so easy to forget something. Even seasoned RVers need to work off a checklist. The second thing I wanna tell people is don't be talking to other people while you're hitching up. Keep your mind on this task. Tune out everybody else because that's how you make mistakes. Okay, so the first thing I do when I am hitching up my trailer is I make sure my wheel chocks are still in place, but then I raise all my stabilizing bars. This is my little crank for raising the stabilizing bars. You'll notice I have coated it with really bright neon duct tape. That's because I have a tendency to drop this thing on the ground and walk away without it. So there's a little girl camper trick for you. So all my stabilizing bars are up right now. I backed up my truck to in front of the hitch receiver. Now I have opened up the lock on the hitch receiver and I have taken off the safety pin. So I'm all lined up here and ready to go. And the next thing I'm gonna do is raise the ball receiver above the height of my ball on the tow vehicle. I'm gonna do that with my electric tongue jack. Once that is in place, I'm gonna back this truck up directly underneath this ball using my backup camera. So it's really important that we lay this down right on top of the ball. Sometimes if you're not being careful, you could actually put the ball behind here and think that it's on and it's not. So we wanna make sure it's right under there. And now I'm gonna drop it on. Now that we have the tongue jack raised all the way up, we're gonna put our uh, ball lock in place here. And this should slide easily. Ta-da! Pin lock. I'm gonna put this in here. And that is gonna prevent the hitch lock from coming up if you hit, hit a pothole or railroad tracks or something. It's a pretty tight lock, but that's another measure of safety. After I get all of this in place, I'm going to apply my chains. These chains are rated and they're heavy duty and they are not going to come off and I'm crisscrossing them. The next thing I'm gonna do is attach my breakaway switch. I'm going to attach this to the same factory installed loop I put my chains on. Now the breakaway switch is something that connects your tow vehicle to a system here. So here are the brakes on your trailer. If in the unlikely event your trailer came off the hitch and the chains were there, it would pull this out and it would apply your trailer brakes. So the trailer brakes are working through your seven way plug right here. If for some reason this failed or this all came apart, this is just an extra measure of safety. You do have to make sure that your breakaway switch is shorter than the length of your chains. If this came off, your chains would be extended as far as they could go. If this was longer, it wouldn't pull out in an act. So you wanna make sure your breakaway switch is shorter than your chains. After my breakaway switch is on, I'm gonna plug in my seven-way plug. This is what's giving me turn signals, left, right, brake lights, and the brakes themselves. Okay, I'm all hitched up here. Before I pull away, I'll check my light system. But now the last thing I'm gonna do is attach my weight distribution bars. In order to more easily install my weight distribution hitch, I've raised the hitch up. This tells me two things. One, that my lock is working. I, you see, I'm actually pulling the tow vehicle up. So I know this is working and it's in place. The other thing it does is take some pressure off and allows me to easily slide my weight distribution bar in. Now I'm just gonna take the safety hook, lock that one in place there, slide this one in. The second one usually does require the tool. I got the second one on, put my safety. Now I can lower the whole thing I've raised my tongue jack as high as it goes. I've taken my block out. I'm gonna put it in the back of my truck. I'm gonna put these tools away right away. I'm not gonna lay them here because that's how you forget those things and drive off without them. I'm going to check my brake lights and my tail lights and my blinkers, make sure everything is working there. Remove my wheel chocks, put them away. 
Then I'm gonna do one more lap around the camper to make sure my awning is in as tight as it goes. All my latches are locked and they're not gonna come open. I wanna make sure my camper has the deadbolt on, not just the regular lock so that thing doesn't uh, pop open on a railroad track and then I'm ready to go. This is Janine Pettit, founder of Girl Camper, friend of Outdoorsy. Happy trails, campers.